Yes, friends. Now I'm continuing with the same topic, time and distance. Some more questions. This is in continuation of the previous lecture series. Okay. Because there are number of queries from this group side. Number of questions are there. So I have taken the selected questions related to the topic. What is the time and distance? And I have already discussed about what is the average speed. How to find out distance when a person is late and sometimes to his office or to his uh, working place by certain minutes late or uh, has reached before the time. So in that situation, what kind of questions are there? Mostly these kind of questions are repeated okay, in most of the competitive examinations. That's why I've taken some more questions. Ten more questions I've taken here. They are very important related to the topic. To clarify the previous lecture series further, so this is in continuation, this is continued. Okay, so this, uh, this lecture series is in continuation of the previous lecture series because there were 10 questions discussed in the previous lecture series. Further, I have taken 10 more questions related to the same topic. I mean, average speed, distance, find or time, time, uh, how much time taken by a person by this speed or that speed. Okay, so time, distance, speed, all these things are related questions or I mean questions related to these three, th three things and then average speed also sometimes. And then what the uh, length of the um, uh, bridge or platform or a train passes through a, a man or a pole etc. So these kinds of questions, the word time will be taken by a train, crossing a man, standing on a platform, standing on a bridge etc. etc. So that kind of questions are I have taken again. Okay. So there are number of questions, thousands of questions are there related to the same topic. That's why I have taken some select questions. Okay. Just to clarify. And I've already defined the word time, distance, speed, etc. Speed is just different to velocity in case of a vector or a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity as I already uh, told you about. But vector, uh, no, velocity and speed, only speed we are considering. But velocity is just a science subject, only the students who are related to the science subject, vector quantity, the scalar quantity. When this uh, topic is concerned, what are the vector quantities, scalar quantity, then we have to discuss about what is velocity, acceleration. For that is speed and so speed is the scalar quantity is, is just equivalent to uh, velocity uh, sorry velocity is having only direction that is the only difference otherwise uh, they are the units of same meter per second or kilometer per second the speed is having the same thing okay now let me take the questions one by one now question number one <coughs> so that these questions what is given to us let me write here and very important questions as I have See here, these questions are very important as most of them are repeated in competitive examinations and very important examinations. I mean, for competitive examinations like IES, PCS, right? Then provisional officers, WAO assistant admin officers, then SSC examinations, okay, management uh, courses examinations like CAT, MAT, GMAT, GRE, SET, etc. Okay, for competitive examinations going abroad going to US mostly for that GMAT GRE and set are there. Okay, so for that for those students also. And CAT and MAT in Indian management examinations. For them also this topic is very important. And for the students who are appearing for their uh, I mean their admission test for graduation courses, for master's degree courses in different Indian universities. For that also the students are appearing for the competitive examinations. For those competitive examinations, for IES, or PCS examinations, uh, provincial civil services examinations, Indian administration services examinations, for all kinds of competitive examinations, this topic is very relevant, very important one. That's why I'm taking, I'm, I'm taking this topic, okay. Uh, further, I'm continuing with the same topic. Now let me take the questions. Question number one, what is given to us? Now it says, a man covers a certain distance by a car driving at 70 km per hour and he returns back to the starting point riding on a scooter at 55 km per hour and the average speed for the whole journey average speed we have find so as I told you what is the average speed total distance traveled divided by total time taken that is the point here if I consider the total distance let me take is x unit. Okay, so that is what a man covers a certain distance, certain distance. 
by a car driving at 70 km per hour and so distance will be then immediate because the same distance is being covered okay if i find total distance travel is suppose x kilometer is the distance so x plus x twice x in the numerator in going x kilometer is covered in returning also x kilometer is covered so total distance covered is x plus x twice x in the numerator the denominator we have to put the time time taken with the first initial speed 70 km per hour going to x kilometer covered x kilometer going from first point to the second point okay a to b suppose then is uh, x upon 70 time taken so x upon 70 in the denom in the numerator sorry denominator first time second time is returning time what is that 55 km per hour speed so x upon 55 km speed is the second time taken okay divided by this x upon 70 plus x upon 55 in the denominator the numerator we are having twice x so direct formula is twice p q upon P plus Q, where P and Q are the two speeds of going and coming, if distance is same. So that formula we have to use here, as I told you what is the average speed. Let me find uh, what is given to us, the speed, the speed of a man, the speed of a man covering a certain distance covering a certain distance or covering a certain distance returning and going going and returning this is covering certain distance going and coming coming back distance or uh, speeds on writing here 70 km per hour and 55 km per hour for going and and coming back in the two speeds here coming back to the initial part to the initial point right now these are the two speeds given to us now we have to find out what is the average speed okay so that we have to find out only these two things are given the certain speed the speeds are given certain distance is uh, mentioned here no time is nothing so every speed we find out find we find here average speed we find here average speed of the person of the man every speed of man here man is given so a man comes okay of the man let me find out solution here try to understand what the solution let me write here the solution what is the average speed formula let me first write the formula average speed since average speed is given by distance total distance travel let me write here total distance total distance travel divided by total time taken total time taken the basic formula total distance covered now distance is not given so let us take let us take the distance okay is x kilometer from a to b let me take these are the two points here a to b the distance of x kilometer here going and coming so both distances are x x okay if i find time what is the time distance upon the speed the formula says distance upon the speed equal to time so in the denominator we will have the two times of going time what is time going time 
is x upon 70 because 70 km per hour is the speed of going and returning, returning speed is 55 km per hour therefore x upon 55 x is the distance upon the speed is equal to time in the denominator total time total distance therefore average speed average speed is equal to x plus x total distance divided by x upon 70 plus x upon 55 okay this much hours because this is in hours let me write it above okay so average speed therefore is equal to twice x upon now if I take x square then this is 1.70 plus 1.55 x x cancel out only now distance is immaterial now because distance is cancelled out so it will be nothing but 2 into 70 into 55 because 7 so 55 not 50 so 70 into 55 is the LCM that we take 70 into 55 is the LCM in the denominator that will come in the numerator so 2 into 70 into 55 divided by 70 plus 55 this is the basic formula this is the basic formula 2pq divided by p plus q this is the average speed if the distance is same then if the distance is same of going and coming okay or any two distances are same so same distance is covered by two different speeds then where p and q are the speeds okay of going and coming p is going going this uh, speed and the q is the coming speed q kilometer per hour so that is the formula this is 2 into p into q divided by p plus q let me now solve it 2 into 70 into 55 70 into 55 yeah it is is it 70 yeah 70 okay so both are same so this is 5 7 plus 5 120 or 12 125 7 plus 5 12 and 5 plus 0, 5, 125 is the denominator, now let me cancel out by 5, this is 5, 2 is 5, 5 is 25 times, this is 5, 11 times, again by 5, 5, 5 is, yeah. and 5, 1 is, 5, 4 is, so 14, 5 is, 70, 14 times, so 5 in, is in the denominator, let me write here, it will give us 2 into 14 into 11 divided by 5 only. Okay, so this is kilometer per hour. Because speed is in kilometer per hour. Now, if I yeah, just find out in meter per second that we know about, then what we have to do, if it is to be converted into meter per second, then 5.18 multiplied by. But this is appropriate for no problem at all. This is 11 to the 22. 22 into 14 divided by 5. Further, let me simplify this. It will give us 14 to the 28. 2 carry 14 to the 28 plus 2 30. 308 upon 5. It will give us 5 6 and 13. 5 1 to 5. And 3 remaining to 3 upon 5. 61 and 3 by 5 kilometer per hour or if I find out this is decimal then it will be 61.656030 so if I put here 0 30 if I fix the 30 to 61.6 61.6 kilometer 5630 then again 5 times the 5 okay that is how 61.6 kilometer per hour this is the answer Final answer is 61.6 km per hour. Let me write here. What is the final answer here? So this answer comes out to be 308 upon 5. That is equal to 61.6 km per hour. This is the answer here. Alright. Okay, so let us now take next question. This is question number one. Okay, so average speed formula we have applied here. 
I mean, previously I have discussed in the previous lecture series how what is average speed, what one or two questions there are solved. So this is further one question. This is important. Has repeated in number of examinations. That's why I have taken this again. But let's check other questions. The question number two. What the next thing? Question number two. Let me talk about. Okay, so let's make it. Let's see. Let me click. And now question number two. What did you say? Let me check it. Okay, now question number two. This is question number two. What did you say? A man. Okay, walking with a speed of five kilometers per hour. All right. Reaches his target five minutes late. All right. If he walks at his speed of six kilometer per hour, okay, he reaches on time. Okay, this I think this that question we have done previously. Okay, maybe this question is repeated. No problem. Let me do it. Do it again. Find the distance of his target from his house. Distance is not given. Let us take distance x kilometer. Okay. So what is given to us? Let me first write. Then what we will find out that we will solve. Given here, now speed of a man, speed or the speed of a man of traveling, of reaching his where he is reaching on time, target uh, of a man of reaching. Of reaching his target, of reaching his target point or whatever destination, it may be his house, his school, etc. Okay, of uh, uh, reaching his target, reaching at his target, reaching his target. Ah, uh, speed. What are the speed? See, first is five kilometer per hour, here. and uh, second is six kilometer per hour. Five kilometer per hour first, and. Uh, Six kilometer per hour, respectively. Okay. First, with first speed, he reaches five minutes late. Five minutes late, and with second speed, and with second speed, he reaches on time. He reaches on time or reaches on time. That is the point. He reaches on time. That is the point here. Given. What is the point here? That if he uh, goes by six kilometer per hour speed, then he reaches on time. When the distance of his target from his house, the distance of his target from his house, distance is not given. So let us assume that 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 is his distance is as kilometer or whatever kilometer. Or oh, what is to find out here? To find here. To find the distance of his target. The distance. Of his target from his house. Of his target, target means his destination, wherever he is going. Of his target from his house. From his house. Okay. That is the point here. Let us find the solution. Solution. No solution here. How to find solution? So let me. Do it above. Okay, just this is the point distance we have to find out. Let me assume that what is the distance solution that we find out here. Solution here. Let distance of his 
darkened from his house from his house B X kilometer okay therefore what time will be taken to so first he takes time X upon 5 time so okay first time taken with 5 km per hour speed is going to x upon 5 hours is the first first equation second second time taken time taken with 6 km per hour speed the 6 km per hour speed is equal to x upon 6 km per hour 6 x upon 6 this is distance upon speed distance upon speed time so this much hours this is the second equation so difference of these two times is given to us as 5 minutes 5 minutes I think 5 minutes late he reach there so the difference of this time because with the second speed 6 km per hour he reaches on time and with 5 km per speed he is reaching it means first x upon 5 he has taken more time so x upon 5 minus x upon 6 must be equal to 5 the difference of time the difference of time is equal to 5 minutes 5 minutes or x upon 5 is greater than x upon 6 so the difference of these two times is equal to 5 upon 60 hours this is in hours now we have converted this into hours because initially it was coming in hours okay. this is 5 upon the 5 5 12 times 12 5 the 60 right 1.12 here this is 1.12 lcm is 30 so this is 6x minus 5x is equal to 1 upon 12 or x equal to 12 upon sorry 30 upon 12 therefore let me write here what is what we are finding out difference of this time so x upon let me write here x upon 5 minus x upon 6 is equal to 5 upon 60 we did this is 1 upon 12 here so 6x minus 5x upon 30, 6 5 30 is equal to 1 upon 12 or x is equal to so x in the numerator 6x minus 5x is x so x equal to 30 upon 12 cross multiplication so 30 upon 12 this is 6 5 to 30 60 by 12 so 5 by 2 kilometers that means 2.5 kilometers 2 and half kilometers distance is his destination his destination his target is 2.5 km away from his house that is the answer 2.5 km is the answer ok so second question we have computed let us take question number 3 now question number 3 let us talk about Question number three says, What is given to us? Let me first write down and then to find out. Given a boy walking at a speed of 10 km per hour reaches his school 15 minutes late. All right, next time he increases his speed by 2 km per hour. It means second time his speed is 12 km per hour because initial speed is 20 km per hour and the second time he increases his speed by 2 km per hour that means initially was 10 so 10 plus 2 12 second time his speed is 12 km per hour then what does it say next time he increases his speed by 12 2 km per hour but still he is late by 5 minutes all right find the distance of his school from his from his house okay distance of his school now difference of this time is 
initially he was 15 minutes late now he is 5 minutes late so difference we have to find out of these two uh, times 15 minus 5 is 10 minutes of difference this 10 minutes of difference we have to find out with the, the two speeds x upon let me take distance is x limited we have to find out with the distance find the distance of his school from his house so let us take x kilometer is the distance of his house so x upon 10 minus x upon 12 is equal to 15 minus 5 so difference of time 15 minutes late and then second time is 5 minutes late that is still there is 10 minutes difference between there the two times to so difference of the time here we have to subtract from each other okay now if second time if he was going five minutes earlier then we have to add these two minutes these two two times 15 plus 5 but in this case we have to subtract 5 from 15 reason that both are late and both are negative times he is taking more time 15 minutes more he took to reach the destination second time he reached again five minutes Again, further he has taken, so he is late by 5 minutes, that means he has taken 5 minutes more. So, the difference of these two times, 10, 15 minus 5, 10. Okay, so let's take the speed of a man, of a boy or a man, a boy, of a boy to reach, to reach his school. from his house from his house are 10 km per hour and second time 12 and 12 km per hour why 12? because 2 km per hour he has, he has increased his speed ok so 12 km per hour respectively First he is first he is or he is I'm sorry he is late by 15 minutes and secondly and with second speed and with second speed he is late by 5 minutes this is given to us we find here the distance of his his school from his house we find the distance of his school of the boys school from his house from his house that is the point here. Right, let us find out solutions. Now here is the solution. Solution are to find here. Now this is the question we have described. Now let me find out solution here. The region is why I eliminate this. The region is but this is not obvious then in the because camera is not covering the downside. Okay, so this is solution here. So let distance distance of his school of his school is x kilometer then difference of his two times is equal to x upon 10 is greater than x upon 12. So 12 x upon 12 is subtracted from x upon 10. This is our x kilometer distance upon speed. Distance upon speed is time. So first time is x upon 10, second time is x upon 12. But this difference, but this difference, but this difference is equal to 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 minutes 10 minutes difference but this is in hours or we can equal them let us equal them or x upon 10 
minus x upon square is equal to 5 10 minus that is 10 upon 60 hours. This is in now hours time. The difference of the 